Oh, hey. Thanks for coming. Uh, I saved you some space for uh, you and your things, and uh, yeah, so just get comfy and cozy, and I guess we'll get started. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, today I'd play the new Legend of Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. It just came out the other day, so I'm really excited to start playing. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> oh, man. How many years has it been since the last one came out? I think it was six years. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just cold open. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> oh. The strange balloon keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. And we're we're just in already. With maximum hearts. Oh, we're beneath Hyrule Castle. Hi Zelda. Never imagined this wall was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Controls all look the same as the last game. That's good. <laughs> Make it less confusing. Falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. We're coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was. So seeing it for ourselves, or even discussing the matter, was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. I can recall what my father said, even now. No one must ever venture beneath the castle, not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. We need to continue to explore this underground area, forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. Hmm. I am determined to discover the connection between this place and the emergence of the gloom. Let's keep on going. We're sure to find some clues to all of this ahead. But how many more things can you say? <laughs> I guess five was it. Oh, also, there's a log button. Oh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess if it's a continued conversation, you can go back. That's cool, though. That's a really cool feature. 
Nice. Gloom, huh? Is that supposed to be related to what happened in Breath of the Wild with the Blood Moon? Or is this a completely new thing? Probably a completely new thing, but... Yeah, let's keep on going. We're sure to find some clues ahead. Oh. Huh? Think. The Master Sword. Yeah, that's why I just pulled it out. <laughs> it must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen t into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. <laughs> Why to swing sword? Oh, right. Now let's keep on going. Okay. No new stuff as we're just walking. Alright. Um... Can I read these? No. <laughs> Not in game. Oh. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait. Something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? The who? Is that a... Is that a dragon statue? Hey! <laughs> Took a picture with the Sheikah Slate. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Is this what the zone I looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. Heard the ruins from a civilization in the sky, and sky, yeah, end up here beneath the castle. It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Hmm. I wonder if we'll <laughs> run into any living Zonai. I'm sure we must, but... They could just be an ancient race as a setup or something. Oops. Case. I missed. Murals. I saw that. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. 
It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Oh. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? This is similar to the statues we saw earlier, Azoni. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zoni descended from the heavens. Oh. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, Born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. Oh. All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Seems like we've been Metroided. <laughs> all our uh, all our stuff from Breath of the Wild is lost. Otherwise, we might be able to just use our remote bombs on that. But interesting. I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here. The images support so much of what historians have written about. Oh. I find myself wondering, how did this area become come to be so forgotten? Why was our history left hidden here? Did the royal family in those ancient times want this place and these murals to remain secret and out of sight? Hmm. I can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something here. Why would anyone want to keep this whole area a secret? It can't be because of what's shown in those murals. Hmm. I can only hope we'll find more answers farther below. Huh. The gloom is growing heavier as we go. It's more and more unnerving. Hmm. I don't like the look of this. But we must find our answers, Link. Hmm. Okay. Onward we go. I'm not a fan of the fact that I don't have a shield right now. At 
least I have the Master Sword. Man. It's so weird to me to be <laughs> walking next to Zelda. It happens in so few of the games. Especially to this extent. Like, there's a couple of the games where you'll, uh, you'll meet with Zelda for a little bit and then go off to do adventure, but the whole start of this being right beside her is incredible. Also, upside down pyramid thing. Whoa. <laughs> um, that's a lot to take in, huh? What's up with that? That green light in the distance. I'm having the strongest sens sensation. This is all so ominous. Uh, oop. What is this place? Let's continue, Link. But we must be extremely careful. <laughs> okay, and not yet. In case you wanted to walk backwards. Well, I mean, if you're going to give me the option. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I guess you can't do it, go too far, huh? Link, has something caught your attention? Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. I want to go back and look at the mural a little bit closer, but I guess it's too late for that. We'll have to loop back around, which hopefully we can. I can only assume that we'll be back here, but yeah, all right. Let's go. All right. That's not good. Yikes. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword. Link. Raru placed his faith in you. All you could do. How do you know our names?
Um. A lot just happened. Like, <laughs> man, <laughs> I, mm. the Demon King resurrected Zelda somewhere, and we were grabbed by. A dismembered arm of Zonai, which seems to have now grafted itself to us. Interesting. Very interesting. Not us having been asleep again for a while. Oh, Link, finally you wake. What? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just pick up the Master Sword. That's deteriorated. Oh, right, and it also, yeah, chipped from the <laughs> when the Demon King was resurrected. Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has, has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Let's let's get out of the tutorial before I mess around with options. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's that is how I attack. Is this Is this the first time that the Master Sword has been damaged like this I know in at least one if not more of the games it required steps to come back to full power but to just outright be busted hmm uh, I guess we'll go touch this thing with our weird hand shouldn't say weird <laughs> with our I technically god hand I guess if well I guess if, if it is Z a zonai hand as I believe it to be oh okay how do we we got a full proper temple right out the gate. I'm a big fan of that. 
I can only assume that that is a return point. And that is not spinning in a way that I can utilize. Unless I can hang on stuff upside down. No, oh, I can climb that rock. Hey, can I? Can I get up? There's no reason to be up there, I guess. So, doesn't really matter. Huh. Okay. Still, hold right on the D-pad to. Oh, you can also sort from here. Oh, awesome. In uh, in Breath of the Wild, you had to go in through the menu. Hey, stealth. <laughs> uh, okay. A to jump. It's extra jump. What are you talking about? Weird. I wonder if later on we'll find jump pads or whatever like that that'll like enact certain travel instead of just doing this, <laughs> which I could just do by jumping off. Like normal, like I don't have to activate this specific one. Oh boy, we're uh, we're going deep. <laughs> Landing water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Good to know. Oh, hey, a chest. <laughs> Can I open it? Hey. Ooh. It's a funky design. Archaic legwear. Simple, classic legwear. They're well-worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. <laughs> okay, yeah. Equip that. Plus to open the inventory. Huh. Hold any more secrets in here that I might be missing and have to come back for later? Um. Not as far as I can see. the water but it was fine <laughs> okay into the outside where the birds are and we are very high up in the air oh uh, <laughs> then <laughs> um well at least that seems to be death mountain over there um oh and there's the grudo highlands and canyons and such okay so we're like
above the Great Plateau right now, I think. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry if me saying all this stuff makes no sense if you haven't uh, experienced Breath of the Wild. We'll have to circle back around to that game at some point, but for now, I just need to play this. Oh boy. Alright. Um. Oh. <laughs> This is a lot. <gasps> There's a dragon! Bottom right. Which one is that? Is that Farosh? Looked yellowish green. Might be a different one. Oh, uh, we got cold areas up here. Where's that? That might be Nehru or Nar Naru. Uh, title screen. <laughs> Accelerate. So weird. <laughs> Look at it. Great Sky Island. Huh. Let's just kind of stick to the given path right now. Ah! The Fable Tree Branch! <laughs> Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. It looks like they also have... or now show weapon typing. Interesting. You can also drop from here? Oh man. They fixed all the little nitpicks. Sky Shroom. A common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. Seems like a potential equivalent to the. I'm already walking off the path. <laughs> it's taking over. Um. An equivalent to the Hylian Mushroom in Breath of the Wild. Apple! Also, what is... What are you? Friend or foe? <laughs> uh, a common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. Uh, you have a branch and you're attacking me. Well, then I guess we're foes. Let's see if I get my timing down. A flurry rush. <laughs> I'll have that branch now. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. Zonai charge. A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Soldier Construct Horn. A blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. Hmm. By type, by most used. If you say so, game. Also, why did my branch not break and do a bunch of damage? 
because it feels like it certainly should have. And also, good to know that uh, when a weapon does break, it does double damage. I don't remember if that was a thing in the first game or not. I know throwing a weapon was. Oh, a wooden stick. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. At some point. <laughs> huh. This place is pretty. Oh. I saw that bird's nest. Sorry, birds. I need your eggs. I might. I don't know. <laughs> A fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. You can snag them from bird's nests if you're sneaky. Nutritious and delicious. Perfect for cooking. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I see you over there. <laughs> Can we sneak up on you, or... Also, do you have birds on you? It's so hard to tell. It has bird eggs. So many branches. I'm gonna end up throwing most of these. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and sneak up on this thing that may or may not be an enemy. Oh, those are those are not actual eggs. Oh, and it's a not a thing. It's a different thing. <laughs> um Hello. Oh, lovely. I waited for you. The steward construct. Hmm. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh. <laughs> this is the pure pad. I am told it is invel. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Interesting. No more Sheikah Slate. Now we have the Pure Pad. It's just, it's just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone always makes the joke with Nintendo games that they put their consoles in their games. And so in Breath of the Wild, the Sheikah Slate was called the Switch because it was a tablet, but it wasn't exactly the shape. Like it had like a handle on the side. This one is legitimately just a redesign of a Switch. <laughs> and that's great. <laughs> Pyrapad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Under the key items. And press minus to open the pure pad. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Garden of Time? Oh. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Oh. 
There's another steward construct over there. Also, I guess confirmed Princess Zelda is fine. That's good. <laughs> Which, I mean, yeah, I get. Of course, because our arm told us so, I guess. Or the person that can communicate to us through our arm? I don't know. What did, did they. Did they say. My arm? Earlier? I think they said my arm. Man, I should have paid attention. <laughs> Man, too much. There's too much going on right now. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay. God, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. That is a different one. Also, I'm sorry for that. I was just trying to see if motion controls were on, and I hate that they are. <laughs> Amiibo disabled. You cannot use Amiibo until you reach a certain point in the game. Try again after you've made some progress. That's fair. Um, leave the camera as is. I want the sensitivity higher. Get rid of that motion controls. Jump is fine. Always lock that minimap to north. Sorry for wasting some time going through the options. <laughs> um, HUD mode. I'm debating going with the pro because i like not having to or feeling the need to rely on the mini map like looking at it and all that but it is also a brand new game so i might want to be able to see it and so i can learn the map um we'll make it a dark window transparency and of course in English for my own sake special controls I feel like we learned some of those <laughs> I can save here sure but yeah that is definitely a new dragon looking at that design It also has orange and blue eyes. <laughs> like the Sheikah have designed their eye. Interesting. I wonder... I wonder if that dragon's name is Sheikah. Or something akin to it. Excuse me, hello. Hello. You seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser, too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Understood. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. <laughs> Well noted. Do you mind if I take this wooden stick? <laughs> Press and hold R and then release to throw a weapon. <laughs> Go 
Tread carefully around any soldier constructs you see. Our creators gave them strict orders to protect this land. Got it. They will consider you a trespasser in need of elimination. Be careful around them. Uh huh. Before I take this leap, let's open up that pure pad. Okay. So we have all the information of the Great Sky Island. But nothing of below. Also, coordinate system. Interesting. Still got our stamps and pins. And now we can have 300 instead of 100. Also, six pins. Ooh. Also different icons. They got rid of the bow icon and shield icon, but gave us person and diamond, <laughs> as well as heart. But the, uh, the gem, the leaf, the skull, the chest, the star, the pot and the sword were all in the last game. So yeah. Okay. Huh. Anywho. <laughs> Thanks, hot footed frog, for just swimming into me. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. These poor guys have no idea the use they have for me. <laughs> stamina <laughs> uh, oh what did I oh I think I saw a little sparkle on that frog come here come here hey there we go all right oh hey one of those hostile constructs. Where were they? I don't even remember what they're called now. Something construct. Sneak strike! <laughs> Soldier, right. There we go. Uh, honestly, <laughs> let's get rid of these sticks. Also, I immediately forgot that we can do this from the, <laughs> from this menu. Okay. Um, man. just too pretty can't take it <laughs> I like <laughs> equally don't want to progress through the game well wanting to make the progress just to be around here what are
Oh, right, I don't. <laughs> Hold on, what? You... Huh. I... That is cool. That you can access your materials and whatever from from the d-pad but oh, what what are you doing <laughs> it's just dancing around um but that was also that slot that the consumables are on or whatever the items that used to be certain tools. So it makes me curious. What is, uh, what's going to happen with that? Oh, goody, you've alerted everyone. Too early. I've been jabbed. Ah. I've been slapped. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Gotta get my timings down here. Come on. Ow. All right. <laughs> Let's eat some of these apples. Oh. Never mind. You can't eat them from there. It's just if you want to drop some. Huh. Come on. There it is. Now I have a long, a long stick. <laughs> a long stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work well as a lunging weapon. thing you can sort weapons is by type at least currently <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah tickle in my nose Okay, again. <laughs> Stop getting distracted. We gotta go meet Zelda. <laughs> Ooh, a fire. Are you... Yeah, you're a good one. Yeah, you're a steward. Ah. A toasty sky shroom. No! <laughs> a simply grilled sky shroom. The heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Eh, I roasted that, but it is yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given the, to understand that it improves the taste. 
uh, creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use the fire to roast them. Well, thank you. <laughs> you are welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients that you have brought with you. Maybe another time. You are welcome to visit again. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was another low apple. Uh, okay. The Temple of Time. Old but new. proper swing. Come on. broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. And an old wooden shield. An aged, worn out wooden shield. It can withstand lighter attacks, such as arrows. And I can, using my target button, I can also block. And by block, I mean use shield. <laughs> but only with a one-handed weapon. Okay. I'm sorry. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am wrong. Uh -huh. I was curious. Was that Raru's source of the ancient arm? Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it. But you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Okay. Interesting. The adventure log is now in the map instead of the regular menu. Okay. 
Main quest. Find Princess Zelda. You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. The steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave it to gave it her puripad, all to get it into your hands. The device's map shows a yellow point of light. The construct said that that's where you'll find the princess. But she is behind a locked door, so a closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Rauru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island's shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. <laughs> All right. I th I think the name Raru was used in Ocarina of Time for one of the sages. I feel like that's why it seems familiar. But yeah. Now we're uh now we're shrine hunting again. <laughs> All too familiar. But uh Yeah, I I think I need to take a break here, so Yeah. I think that's gonna do it for now. Make a save here. Hey, and thanks again for spending some time with me. Hope we can do it again soon. But uh yeah. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.